I was born in, uh, in Kilmallock County, Limerick. Yeah, we, 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 we used to travel about all over Ireland, you know. And then in the early, late 40s, uh, my mother uh, bought a house. We're still at our trail, you know. And then we decided uh, to uh, take a bash and seek a fortune in England, which was a lot easier, you know. Because in Ireland, if you could sell a carpet on the doors in Ireland, you'd go anywhere in the world and sell one, because it was uh, twice as hard in Ireland. Because they had no money neither in the 50s and the 40s, you know. And of course, we, we came to England, me and my mum. I mean, she couldn't read and write. My dad couldn't read and write. My granddad couldn't read and write, because they were brought up on the road, you know. We used to make a big tent, you know. But we didn't have a house in the old days, you know. All we had was uh, a horse and wagon, you know. Well, I, to be quite honest with you, I only come to England for the money, you know. I've worked seven days a week all my life. I've always worked seven days a week. I don't need to do it, but I've done it. And it was my dad said to me years ago, if you're not very bright and you work hard enough, you're born to get something. And it's right, isn't it? We, ca we, all, can't, we all can't be engineers, can we? You do jobs, what, you, what, what you're capable of doing. An old fella told me that years ago. He said, get, when you get to England, you know, he said, uh, there's plenty of work, but you've got to take any job that's going. And I've done every job, no matter what it was, I would never say no. So we have the same thing today, where people go mad about these Polish people coming into the country. But believe me, they're all good workers. And I've worked with them all. I've worked with Czechs, I've had them working for me. If you, if you, if you, if you take any job that's going, you deserve the money. And if you ask them, if they come to you for your job and you say, I'll see you at six o'clock in the morning, they're there. And I've got a good squad of lads working for me now, you know. We've been, they've been here since I started, you know. You know what the lads do with my niece is gone now. Arthritis is killer with the lads. Well, they always get the lads, you know. It gets, it gets you, when you get a bit old, it gets you, you know, on your knees all day long. I mean, I never have a type. They, they just come in, you know. So when it's a really, 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 really bad day, always somebody comes in. Now, that's funny, isn't it? When people say there's a recession on, they say, isn't it very quiet down the street? I say, well, God's good, you know. And he's always looks after me. Money's a tool. You've got to know how to use it. Because money's only lent to you, you know. When you die, you've got to leave it all behind, have you? And I mean, uh, as I said to a fellow the other day, he said, I can't go to London because I've got no money. I said, well, look at Dick Whitton. He went. To, he had nothing. All he had was a cat. I said, when he got there, they made him the Lord Mayor. <laughs> and that's right, isn't it? Same thing, isn't it? If you've got faith in yourself, you'll always succeed. That's my, that's my, and if you walk with God as well.